guys so cool welcome to the first video on she's all beauty featuring hair by shopper and latifa yes <laughs> and if you want to see how we got this look then watch the video mm -hmm. learn a lot mm -hmm. and just comment and share with your friends that's right so i've already plucked bleach cut the ears now it's for the install so we can slay her for her birthday <laughs> style Emma. Mm -hmm. First style Emma. A best friend and man both play basketball at university and have recently become closer and decided to follow um, each other on why, social wait, media. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> let me let me finish. Okay, let me okay. finish. So, and they recently decided to follow each other on social media, and she mentions him a lot when she's around me. Um, she also insisted that they go out together to their favorite restaurant. Personally, I don't feel comfortable with, with this. So what should I say or do? Do you think I'm over, overreacting? No! What? No. How did we get to the place where you feel so comfortable to hang around my man <laughs> without me there? Like, how did we get to that part? Well, they then, are friends. They no. both play basketball. Wait, 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 wait. Um, are they friends before the girls that they in the... Her best friend's boyfriend. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, because of basketball, you know when like the, the girl... Um, she has she, no respect. That's the thing. Because, um, no, she has no respect. And why I say that is because you should respect the fact that I'm now dating this person to get, respect my boundaries. Mm. And I think she needs to set her boundaries clear. Because if truly... Mm -hmm. Um, this is your friend, mm -hmm. which is because I like to have conversations with people. So I don't like how you're hanging out with my man because at the end of the day, it doesn't make me feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. If you're really my friend, you would respect that. And, and you'll understand. And just back off. Like, back off. But does that, but does that make you insecure? No, that doesn't make me insecure because I also have a conversation with that idiot. <laughs> a man. Because why are you comfortable hanging out with another girl? That is my friend, mm -hmm. not me. Mm -hmm. In this time and age, don't trust man. Why are you trusting Adam? Even man, don't trust. You're Why saying you man, don't trust. Adam? I don't can't trust that. It's not even just man. Girls are scary. They are. They actually are. <coughs> Going in with a hair by shop and lace glue. Gonna do that like, three layers. I'm saying like, if you don't respect me as a person, you don't respect anything I do. Mm. That's just about it. So whether it be my relationship, being anything I actually do. Yeah, but how about, how about if it's not adapting? Then I leave both of them do whatever you want to do. No, but I'm nothing's sorry. going on between them. They're just friends. No, but that's the thing. Just... That's the case. Mm. This is why I said you won't feel so comfortable hanging around each other when I've expressed to both of you that True. I don't feel comfortable with True. this friendship. True. Not because I'm insecure. Not because I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm like, oh, so you were sleeping with my friend or you did something with my friend. I'm not waiting for that to happen because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm now trusting you that you won't, you won't disappoint me or you won't break whatever trust I, I've given to you. Yeah. Right. So I've told you that I don't feel comfortable and you're still hanging out with this person. You don't respect me as an individual mm -hmm. or respect the relationship or is whether being the friend yeah. or the boyfriend, you don't respect it. So you're basically saying, I'm a dog. I should keep back him. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Keep back in. Keep it back. No, no. So, um, and I'm not going to waste my time because time is precious. Okay, so let me put you in the scenario. I'm actually already putting myself in the scenario. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, I'm actually so imagine you're the friend that plays the basketball. You're the friend that plays basketball. Mm -hmm. And you, like, you click with this guy. Okay. Like, cool. Like, you've actually respected your boundaries. Yeah. You know that obviously yeah that's nothing your friend yeah on. nothing's going on you respect your friend and you respect the relationship so you know nothing's going on. I'm someone that I like to, I don't like my friends feeling like they're okay. sad about things. Yeah. Like you express to me you don't feel comfortable with it. Mm. So why would I then sit down and start to make you feel more uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. You know, even though there might be something, there's always something I can do. Yeah. Like oh, I can switch teams. Mm. Not play the same team the guys played or. No, just not the same yeah, guy. Just don't like without her, too much. that's yeah, it. Just say hi I wouldn't. And bye, I wouldn't and that's be. About it. I, I wouldn't be around the guy without my friend being there. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't feel like, oh, okay, am I being, am I thinking stupid or something like that? Mm -hmm. That is making my friend think that she's stupid if I continue to play on the same basketball team. Mm -hmm. If I continue to make her feel like, yeah, nothing is going on. Mm -hmm. Nothing is never really going on. Something is always going on. Sorry, 
You think so? We are women. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no. Yeah, we're saying we are women, but we are wise women. We so are wise. imagine someone saying to you, I know something's going on, but you know I nothing's, know nothing's going, going on. See what I mean? So you can't Yeah, like you can't really say oh, okay. we are women. Okay. I'm, I'm not the type to disrespect my friend and to her boyfriend. Yeah. But there are females that, that will do, do that. that. Mm. So you can't be like we're all women. Well, not all women are like that and not all men are like that. True. Fair enough. So the least I would say I would do is literally switch teams. Bye. And I'll literally just tell the world, well, your girlfriend doesn't feel comfortable. But how about there's no other team? It's, it's only one team. team. Yeah, you're in uni, it's just one team. It's not a must I play basketball. Is Obviously, it? you don't see him often. It's just a thing where when you, you guys have your, social, yeah, well, you have your social... Well, the list you could do, I will invite my friend. Come on, watch the basketball. Mm. If, we'll come train No, you me. know what's funny? Is that if she can't come, so you, you can't come to any of his games, any of his... um. Um, what's it called? Just yeah, watch she, she, doesn't go, she doesn't go to the same uni, um, so she won't be able to come unless she comes to visit her friend. Sorry, darling. Well, no, I don't know what to do. Yeah, see what? Actually, what can? Not. That's what I'm saying. What can you do? You guys don't go to the I same. I made it clear. You don't I go mean, to the same university. I think what she can do is now trust that. Um, trust that I'm. I'm literally with her. Yeah. And I understand that trust is hard for some people. Mm -hmm. So it's why you need to know the kind of friend you actually have. Yeah. This is the kind of friend that has trust issues. Yeah. And you know, trust is really important to them. So if that's the kind of friend I actually have, yeah. I think it's a lot of reassurance given. I know sometimes it can be exhausting. Yeah, she's reassurance really, is definitely important. Yeah, but she's not Before just this hit me. Yeah, sure. She's not just my friend. I've seen her as a sister now. Yeah. If my sister comes to me crying and like this guy makes her like this and this this this, I don't think I would sit down and make her continue to feel that way. Yeah. So I think the same thing I'll do for my sister, I'll do for my friend because I don't just see our That's friendship. Good. You're a good friend. You're a good person. Yeah, I see. I see it as a as a bond, as a friendship kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's let's continue to roll with that. As long as you see me as a sister too, mm -hmm. that's also important. It's two way kind of friendship, not just one way. So I think that's that's where everything is going to go on reassurance, loads mm -hmm. and loads of reassurance. So let me let me go back to the last part she asked. Do you think I'm overreacting? You're not overreacting because you're in your right senses to feel any certain way. Like mm -hmm. I said, the trust issue. Maybe someone has hurt her before. Yeah. And to that point, she now starts to like any little thing. She's already feeling that way. Mm -hmm. So, is why the reassurance is important. As a friend, if truly we know each other and we talk, and I see like a sister, you know, you really you're my best friend. Yeah. So basically, I tell you everything. You tell me everything. Oh, everything not everything you tell me because i know there's some stuff you want to keep to yourself that's mm -hmm. okay <laughs> but the ones you do tell me and i'm aware of yeah i can put two and two together to know, know you know what mm -hmm. this cause this and this cause this so yeah i can understand the point she's coming from yeah i've respected you i've reassured you but if you choose not to trust me then we're actually not friends yeah so deep down deep down you don't trust me as a friend you can't trust me with your life you can't trust me with anything so Madam, you can keep it stepping. <laughs> it's okay. It's like what it is. She just got a set to it, it, it. That's it. It's about it. So, so on a, another dilemma, it's not part of my questions, but she's got one. <laughs> you know, this one's full of dilemmas. So, <laughs> so it's like um, goddess friendship. That wait, the friendship happened from Nigeria. Right? Mm -hmm. We went to the same school and stuff, and um, there was a day she posted a guy. The guy happens to be my now boyfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So um, she posted it, and I was like, "Oh, this guy's cute." That the other day, <laughs> can I get his number? I actually didn't ask for his number. And then she's like, "Oh, I was like, who is he?" Like I was thinking she's gonna say her boyfriend or something. Mm -hmm. And she's she was, she was actually my ex boyfriend friend. Oh, anyway, oh my goodness. Um, the reason why I say ex is because. I don't live in Nigeria and then we're not as close as we used, used to be. To be yeah. So I wouldn't then call her my best friend again because mm -hmm. I don't call her for any little stuff that is going on in my life. I yeah. call my now friends. Mm -hmm. So um so she's like, Oh, um, she told the guy that I said he looks cute. And the guy now asks for my number. Yeah. And it's texted me. But she asked for my permission. Where was this here on Nigeria? No, it, it the, I don't know where the guy was at the time. Oh. Right. But, but when did the situation happen? This happened like two years ago, three years ago. Where? Here or Nigeria? I was here, she was in Nigeria. Oh, okay, okay. I went to like boarding school in Nigeria and stuff. Yeah. So um the guys texted me 
and we that's how our friendship has started mm -hmm. and i did let the guy know i was in a relationship so yeah. and it was just a friendship kind of relationship we both had was it flirty no it gets interesting mm -hmm. so i asked my friend so what's going on with you and this guy mm -hmm. right she's like oh she likes him and they date him so but wait, the, wait, no, wait, no. Yeah, yeah. So if she was dating, wait, why no, is she? no, 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 no. So the guy doesn't give me the impression that they're dating. Yeah. So I think me casually, I'm someone that wherever it is, I'm always open, and mm -hmm. my family actually tell me I'm honest to the fall, which is bad mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. I said to my then boyfriend that, oh, can you imagine this, 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 this? It's going on. And he got so mad that he broke up with me. <gasps> is, so it because, why, is it because why was I, Yeah, why was I talking to him? I was like, but he's just a friend. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything more than that to give. Mm -hmm. You can't tell your boyfriend you went to go compliment man and this one happened. I didn't even say I complimented the man. But uh, I just said, this girl, that the other da. Mm -hmm. And he's broken up with me because of that. Because he's actually, I feel like he was insecure. But well, well, wait, well, wait, another wait. topic for another yes. day. Yes. So anyway, um, so now I've just been literally as like cool. And the guy found a way. We got back together again. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Anyway, um, I've just distanced myself from the boy because mm -hmm. now he's giving me a problem in my relationship. Yeah. So I've distanced myself from this guy because oh, it's a lot. Um. Time goes on, he texts me here and then. Hi, hello. I'm just How like, you Hi, doing? hello. I'm, I'm good. You, you good. I'm going to study him again. Mm -hmm. So that's how it's been for like a year flat. Yeah. Until like I and my then boyfriend broke up properly. Like this is it's a done deal. There's mm -hmm. no two ways yeah, about it. No it's not going, yeah, back. not going back. Nothing yeah. is done. Right? Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm sitting here minding my own business. Mm -hmm. I always mind my business and men will come for me. So this guy has come back again. I said, what do you want? Like, you're dating my friend. Yeah. This is still my thinking because you're actually dating my friend. Yeah. And so she will come to me and say, oh, he's not talking to her. It's not, I meet her and I'll be fighting battle like as if I am Joseph. <laughs> I will say, huh, you, you cannot be treating my friend like as if you're a good you're, friend, you know. I, 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 the guy was like, well, I'm eyeing your friend, I'm not dating. I was like, she said you're dating. Why are you saying you're not dating? You're oh, lying. She's that girl. And then he said, we're actually not dating. Mm. I can prove that we're actually not going out. Yeah. We're just close. And because we're close, she go and she likes me. I know she likes me. Yeah. She, People then she say, she then say, like, why don't I like her? Why don't I ask her out? I've never asked her out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know. So I think I was at my lowest last year and he was actually there. I wasn't oh. expecting him to be there. Mm -hmm. But he's that person that calls and checks up and like you okay, I'm just checking up on you and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that day happens to be the day I was like on my low low. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, funny enough, I when I and this other idiot were not together again, I literally called him to check up on him as well. But because I understood from wherever I posted that his dad was going through a tough time. So yeah. his dad eventually died. Oh. And so it's like I was reaching out, like, are you okay? Da, 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 da. Yeah, and then he was like, oh, like, I'm the only one that's actually reached out. Even mm -hmm. the girl that is supposedly dating him. Yeah, and I was like, what about your girlfriend? This is where the whole, she's not my girlfriend came from. Oh, okay, okay. So he's like, what girlfriend? I was like, well, this girl that, you know, we met. My girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, I don't understand. Well, even though she's my girlfriend, she hasn't reached out to me or anything. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand, you know, like, like you're the only person that has reached out. I was like, then that's bad if she's your girlfriend and then she has not reached out. Yeah, reached out because of, and then she's calling me in that time as well. She's telling me he's not talking to me. He's giving me attitude. And I was like, oh, that's she's what, saying, she's yeah, saying to you. That's why I've called him and like, yo, what's going on? And then it's like no but like my dad's dying so i don't have time to be receiving calls and mm -hmm. talking about something that doesn't yeah hold up wait. yeah that doesn't do me anything other than my dad getting better yeah so i was like oh shit. but like okay so when his dad died i was literally there as well yeah and 
to him she wasn't Mm -mm. And as time went on, we just got closer and yeah. closer. And then last year, I was at my low, and he was there for me as well. They jammed me. But that's like, a, that's like, like um, a real good test, you know. So we were just literally there for each other. And then the next thing is like, you know, I really like as I know. I knew this is whatever time you had my number. But mm -mm, come and see confidence. I actually knew it. But me, I removed myself. Is that, is that why you stopped talking to me? I was like, because my boyfriend at the time didn't feel comfortable with all this. So I removed myself. Because mm -hmm. it's clear that you liked me. And there's some stuff you actually say that makes me even feel like, yeah, mm -hmm. you actually like me. Mm -hmm. well, it's good though, because some girls just entertain that. Yeah, I didn't entertain it at all. I was like, yeah, I have a man. Goodbye. So he was like, well, now are you still in the relationship? I was like, no, but okay, what are you I'm trying free. to say? <laughs> but, so it took me months to even agree to like be on a talking stage with him. Yeah. Finally, we're on a talking stage. I was like, okay, how do we break this news to this girl? Yeah. Because in her head, she's oh. actually still dating me. Do you get it? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, have to worry about that i say eh? because i look like a homebreaker i mean <laughs> no thank you i did not break any home to begin with mm -hmm. okay but i don't want to be that friend that yeah. she took my man i didn't take no man yeah. it was not yours to begin with <laughs> so i did take no man don't come mm. for me so i was like but you need to we need to actually tell her but you can't tell her on your own it needs to be both of us yeah or i call her first and tell her yeah so he then posts me he's doing that and she's he, like he posted you in his story a lot he's been doing that a lot oh. and then the girl's like i hope it's not what i'm thinking I'm well like, she's like i hope it's not what i'm thinking and it's like what are you thinking i don't know what you're thinking what's in your head yeah. what are you actually thinking yeah and she's like i hope it's not what i'm thinking I said, like, well, until you tell me what's in your head, I don't live in your head rent free. So yeah. you need to tell, tell me. Tell me what's up. And then she's like, don't worry. So I think at some point, she'll, she'll just call him. She's like, I'm upset with you. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. You're this, you're that. And he's like, what happened? It's like, so you're going to tell me that you're dating my friend and you won't tell me. And he's like, well, now you know. But like, it wasn't a secret to begin with because like, we were never together. But she never received that really well. Yeah. And so when I called her last year, December, to have a conversation, and I was like, okay, I need to talk to you. And she literally ignored me for a very long time. Is it? She's like, yeah, I'm busy. I'll call you when I'm free. So it got to New Year's. Yeah, I was like, before New Year's, I was like, I'm not entering 2022 with this. Yeah. And I was like, girl, enough is enough enough is enough i'm not doing this again i'm not doing this again. no i'm not going back and forth because i've called you i've asked you whenever you're free please call me i've reached out but you're still not receiving it's okay if you don't want to receive but i need to let you know whereby it is you think is going on yeah i need to let you know from my perspective not like i see if i came and i stole your mind only for me to find that the man is not even yours to begin with mm -hmm. so i've reached out and then she finally picked up my call Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. one of those days, and she was in church. And I was like, okay, it sounds loud, it sounds busy, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna say what I wanna say anyway. Um, I know that you know that I and this person are going out yeah. because this person has told me they've told you that we're going out. Yeah. So um, I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm open to like hear it out. Yeah. And I just don't want you to think that it just happened out of nowhere because you did tell me that you guys weren't dating. Yeah. And so yeah it's why it was easier for me not to have the conversation in the beginning mm -hmm. so um and i hope i'm not upset she's like yeah it's fine i know it's okay <laughs> i said ah okay oh. <laughs> she says okay no problem ah that's how we left it so in between in between she'll call him and she'll be like let's go out and he's like go out to work <laughs> Now, bear in mind, we're not having a long distance relationship. Yeah. And each time she's, in, she's like, I still hate you for one thing. And I regret one thing. Is letting you guys know each other. Mm -hmm. That's always been a regret. And yeah, I mean, but that's her problem. 
I don't know where my if, fault is. In yeah, this. it's definitely not your fault because it's but like if she, if you like, for example, if I like a guy, and my friend will be like, oh, who's that? I'm gonna be like, bro, this is the guy I like. He, I've been feeling this, but I'm gonna tell my friend. So she wore friends. I said, "This is the one I'm it. trying to, you know, get to know." No, I'm not gonna be like, that's "Nah, where, take a snap." Like, that's what the where, hell? That's where respecting the boundaries comes in mm-hmm. because then I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to step on yeah, your Yeah, you, you wouldn't have. Do you get what you I mean? And have. the fact that you now lied to me that the guy is your boyfriend, yeah, and the man is saying no, I don't. I'm not dating. I don't know this her. one. Like we're friends and we're close, but I'm not dating you. Mm-hmm. And I, because. To the point where, but even before you dated me, was dating someone else. I was like, "How are you dating someone else and dating this girl?" Yeah. And I was like, "No, like I and her were never a thing. A thing. It's just like when she kept saying she was my girlfriend, I just never corrected her, and I just like I just left it because even though as much as I told her like I don't like her like that, she wouldn't hear it. So is why I've left it. Do you go? Know I mean, you yeah. like call yourself my boyfriend. Call yourself my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Do whatever you want to do. That's fine. It's why you just never really. I was like, but well, that's where you went wrong, because you should have continuously correcting her. Yeah. That it's not like that because now. But you, hmm. whoever she tells yeah, the story to, you, I have I to pause you. I have to pause you there. Because right, men will tell a girl a it's not. A, no, no, no. He'll tell the girl the truth. It's not adapting. I don't like you. The girl will still stay. How you heard stories of that? Yeah. And um, predicaments about that. The guy will be like, listen, it's not adapting. The girl will still force, force it. it. Yeah. But so sometimes, no matter what you tell a girl, if in her mind, I'm going to be eager. Okay. It's like how, but you know, it's, it's like how men are so persistent with us girls, even though I'm we tell so, them. Yeah. Don't you hear, hear yeah, stories yeah, when girls will be friend. like, oh, at first I didn't like him. He was very persistent. Yeah. He was such it. He was such an it. And then years later, you know he's my husband. He's yeah. my boyfriend. Yeah. I gave him a shot. You know what's funny is that. It gets interesting to the point. It gets to the point whereby, you know, she during the course of the time is that guy, mm-hmm. right? And she met to him. She um, no, God. she she asked if he could have sex with her, mm-hmm. and it's like, no. When he's going through something, yeah, and that's what she's asking for. Yeah, and then she's like, she just wanted him to do it, and she made herself naked. Well. And he ran away. Wow. Wow. Well. And he ran away. See, but she was being, she was doing a lot. She was doing too much. Yeah, way too and much. And I just, I think when he told me that, I lost respect for yes, her. How could you? I said, women, like, I don't think I'll ever run And she knew you were feeling him. Uh, well, I actually, she didn't know time. that. And she didn't know She nothing. knew because it told her that I actually like your friend. Mm-hmm. But then she didn't, she didn't receive it. She mm. he told her from the beginning, I like your friend mm. and I'm thinking of getting to know her. But I don't think she took it seriously. She's like, You like her. She's all the way in London. Yeah. How can you like someone that is all the way in London? Like it's not going to work. So it's just a shame. Like, I hate when people are two ways. Like mm-hmm. if you're going to be straightforward with me, just be straightforward. Let's yeah, know what you're doing. Around the bush. So what she's then done is oh um yeah i like him and now i know you like him but it took me like two two fucking years to know you like yeah. him yeah two years two imagine years to know that you liked him and then why is that when we're not dating it's now the time you made it very known yeah that i like why didn't you say in the beginning first. like you know she I mean? actually had the shot in the first the first where time. i was even joining do i was doing what well, god and joined together mm-hmm. i was joining both of them together and this boy is saying I don't understand what you're doing. Like mm-hmm. I said, I like you. You're telling me I should go date your friend, mm-hmm. and I was like, because my friend likes you. Why are you coming for me? For real? And he was like, but I don't like. <laughs> so um, yeah, my dilemma is basically that. Is like, am I actually wrong? No. So I've dated the guy. No. Many people still feel like I do. You people know, say that you're wrong. Yeah. How are you I, wrong I don't if she that. didn't even tell? If, like I said, if I've been with someone and I post them on my story, as a friend, I'm gonna tell, tell you, you that yeah, this is the guy I'm feeling. But so wait, for her, we're just not friends. Huh? It, it now becomes a part where I, I can't just be seeing you as my best friend and you don't see me as your best friend. So I was wait, seeing so you as, as my best, best friend as well. So that's why I said she was my ex best friend. Yeah. 
That's because even worse. She's that's your best it. friend, and you could even tell. So maybe, no, maybe she was my best friend, but I was not best friend. There's two different. Yeah, but at the same, at the end of the day, yeah. you guys had that title, best yeah, friend. That's, that's she it. couldn't even tell you that she liked that man. Yep. So, and I think when she, she technically she's in the wrong because she should have told you. That's the thing. And when she did, and I was trying to join them together, she made me believe that she was already dating him, and he's like, no, when I never asked her out. Mm -hmm. So with me, I'm sorry, I was asked out to. He asked mm -hmm. me. <laughs> he asked me. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah. For her, he didn't. He ask. didn't ask, and she always carried on with it. You know. Why didn't you, like, I regret the fact that I let both of you know each other. Well, that's her own. That's the so, L she took and she just got to live with it. Yeah. And she's she definitely a lesson that whatever you want, you go grab. You don't just let it slide She's still by. trying to grab, Sha. Oh, it's so too late. late. Because you, your story is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> your heart is bigger and you, you will stand firm. Honestly, and I just, I just literally, stay on your lane, I stay on my lane. It's mm -hmm. fine. Um, and it is what it is. It's why whenever... Um, my boyfriend calls that my friend. I was like, she's not my friend, though. Your friend, you mean? Mm -hmm. It's a mutual friendship. Your <laughs> friend, you mean? Because I'm always careful who I call friends, and I don't really see I have a friend anymore. Yeah. Because you wouldn't put me in a situation whereby I start to think about my principles again. Yeah. Whereby, like, I know I wouldn't date someone you lied. Yeah. But you never really opened up with me and told me, like, okay, sis, this is it, you know? Yeah. But, but when you did, and I was trying to put you two together, you even lied about it. So I don't understand why you're lying, basically, if that makes sense. Because yeah. I asked you, are you guys dating? You said yes. I asked the guy, are you guys dating? You said no. no. So. You know when he said, after he said no, did you go back and tell her? Yeah. And what did she say? She could have said it too. Mm. And I felt bad. Because like I can imagine, I can imagine a girl's ego being hurt. Like yeah. it's fragile. So I was like, "Oh, you guys never dated." But I don't think I'll ever be the person that'll come back and. She probably just thought, you know, like the um. It's not that gonna be a real thing. You know, like talking stages, you think, oh yeah. That's what I said. She serious, never thought it was like, never gonna be a real thing. Dating is dating, like it's we're almost a year in this, yeah. so it's a thing. Sorry, sister, marriage is being planned. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand um yeah and the reason why i even felt out of place the most is that the people we're friends with when we're in school i know she's close to them so it's not like wherever she's told them i don't talk to any of them anymore so it's okay i only talk to one but it's not like i don't know wherever you sent to them mm -hmm. and i'm someone that i don't really care about what people say about me but i just need to have the right information yeah not just have one-sided kind of yeah, stuff that's good so, it's true. You know, people just be coming and talking rubbish. I'm talking rubbish. It's I like, where did you know get this rubbish from? Have the truth. Don't have one sided, yeah. brick story. Have the truth. Mm -hmm. And then decide yourself what side you want to be on. Yeah. Not even side, where your judgment wants to go. Yeah. So, yeah. And this guy doesn't feel guilty about it. And I still feel guilty because, not that I feel like I'm in the wrong, but I feel bad for her, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Like, I can't imagine me liking someone and then just slipping through my fingers like that. Yeah. Sorry. So it's why I always feel bad. Like, oh, like, you know what? Don't worry. And then so he doesn't feel bad because she will call him and tell him, oh, you know, I met this guy. Do you think I should do this? So she will ask him for that advice. Yeah, she's open to dating people. He doesn't feel bad, but I genuinely feel bad because I was considered your friend. Mm -hmm. So I think it's in me. But I'll feel bad for you. Okay, so let me give you another dilemma since you said that. Mm -hmm. um, a friend that you're not really close to always goes to your man for advice. Are you mad? <laughs> Can you hear? What, what's that nonsense? What are you uh, doing? You're, you're not, uh -uh. What are you doing? Are you, uh, that's why I said, are you mad? <laughs> that's my first one. Are you crazy? Are they eating on your head? They are doing fried plantain, are we? Mm -hmm. But, um, no. You're not even my friend because I'm not close to you. You're an acquaintance. Okay, but okay, cool. Acquaintance, even if it's a, if it's an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Um, uh, yeah, because I'm never. I don't really fight for men. Mm -hmm. I actually don't. Men fight for me instead. So and if your man goes, yeah, but it's not that deep. What are you doing? Are you mad? <laughs> ah, no, no, no. I'll join your head together, please, and I'll slap it. But with him. 
you're the person actually i don't think i'll have a conversation with that supposed friend mm -hmm. because like i said we're not friends she's just an acquaintance it's just that i just know you wait just to pause you how do you want your hair again uh show me do you have like a video yeah i think it, i think i got one from your page actually you're both, i'm what, trusting you what's your good what's your good side though they're all good sides mm -hmm. <laughs> they're all good sides <laughs> sorry <laughs> They're all good this. sides, so you can you can choose whichever one. Okay, that's fine. So yeah. So um yeah. You're not my friend for me to be like, yo, why are you talking to my man? Why are you asking him for advice? Okay, now it also depends what kind of relationship do you have with my man? Like, are you were you guys friends before I kind of knew? So or if they were friends beforehand, it's fine then. It's kind of alright ish. Mm -hmm. As long as you're respecting your boundary, my sister. Mm-hmm. But if it was a case whereby you knew my man through me. Yeah. You have no audacity to even two inch, two steps closer to him. <laughs> Move it away. <laughs> but like I said, I don't really fight for men. Even with this one, I didn't. I didn't really fight. <laughs> it's true though. Because what is fight actually doing? Your man should fight for you. Your man yeah. should stick, put his foot down and respect That's you. That's the thing. And you know what? Well, I'm always glad that this one does. Tunisia, girls will come and think they can violate you to your man. That's if your man can't hold you off and, is, and tell it. these girls off, then what kind of man is that? Thank you. So even re regardless that it's been a long distance relationship. Yeah. And I kind of, I actually, I don't kind of, I trust him. Yeah. Because I know when he's being truthful to me. Yeah. And I know when it's like, you're lying, but I've never had a scenario where he's lied to oh, me. Oh, come see love. Love is sweet. Love is sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. If you have the right person, shout. No, really, it's true. If you have the right person. It's actually true. Because the moment you don't, you just be collecting breakfast yeah. left, right, and center. Mm. So. Very true. Been one person I knew. Yeah, I can actually trust. Yeah. So I just go flying. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, no, don't be too comfortable with other people's mind. Especially when they don't even really see you as a friend. Mm -hmm. But this is where people get crazy. You see me as a friend and I don't see you as a friend. So in your so, head So what we doing? So yeah, in your in your head if you think I'm friends with this girl, but this girl doesn't think you're friends with. She's friends with you. Yeah. So whatever you do, you then you still think you're like I'm friends with her. Yeah. But she's not thinking that way. Is why you need to always let your status know. True. I like you as a person, but we can't be friends. True. Rather than letting one person think, oh, we're friends. We're not friends. Yeah. Deep down, we're not. So that's where that comes from. Well. Interesting. Yeah, she got a very interesting life. I love it. <laughs> well, everyone's life is interesting. It is. Mine is just filled with drama, and I'm always involved. <laughs> I hate that. I wasn't really in much drama, but drama happens every day. Yeah. Without you even knowing, most of the time. True. Just... And especially when you got friends that don't really talk about things. Yeah. But obviously now, I was saying my girls and I. We all kind of, be not kind of, we all become more open to expressing how we feel. Because yeah. before it wasn't really a thing. You're just like, okay, something's happened. Brush it off. It is what it is. But mm -hmm. it's like, now it's, it's kind of like, yeah, us. it's like, okay, cool, I've hurt you. And it's the thing about, if you don't talk about it, how am I meant to know? That's where a healthy relationship Yeah, is, so it's it? like, if someone has done something wrong, we have to like, obviously tell them. And so we know that, okay, this is what happened. Obviously, they don't like it. We just got to move on for it and just mm. hope that it doesn't happen again. This is where learning from your mistakes. That's why, and, stuff. and communication is important. Yeah, you can scream, scream, scream. Communication is very much important. The tune and how you say it. Yeah, our tone. That one. Oh, that's a big that one. Ah, one oh, so that's so weird. Oh my god! You can't come to me and express yourself and you scream. See, I there's, there are two things I hate. I hate confrontation. Mm -hmm. And I hate you yelling at me. Mm -hmm. I don't respond well. Okay, then us two will probably have problems. I'm joking. Yeah, but because I, that's I'll, that's I'll start thing. to cry. Yeah, I'm... And I don't like people seeing me crying as a weakness. Mm -hmm. It's just my how I react. Because like, I don't know how to then respond to you. Not yeah. because I'm wrong in that situation. Mm -hmm. But because I don't want to say things that will actually hurt me. And hurt me. what we've got. With me. That's, what, that's something I had to um, learn. Learn. No. My tone and how I say things. So... 
if you come to me and express yourself i'm always on the receiving end but i'm willing to hear you out yeah but then you come and you're yelling at me do you know this, i think it's just a defense mechanism that yeah but i don't want we to. have i know obviously but it's, it's obviously a learning thing that's what yeah. i have to learn that I get very defensive, like very defensive. No, no let's be real. I've Everyone definitely learned, does yeah. I definitely, but this year I've learned so much, so much, yeah. like that. Okay, cool. I'm upset, but I need to obviously handle it a certain way. Mm -hmm. Especially for for friends and be close to other sisters, like yeah. I need to learn a way to not talk to um certain people, not even say people, people in general. Yeah, people in general. There's so, like, certain ways you can do it. And it's why stuff. I say confrontations. I've just never liked confrontation. I don't. Yeah. Know. Never let's have I, you know. Like, let's say that I've never, I was, I've never been in problems. So, yeah, a lot so just happened in one year. That like, I'm just like, oh shit. So this is how I react, I react to yeah. these situations because I've never actually reacted. If you see confrontation on me, we go different parts because I would just not respond well. And yeah. many people, when they see me, they think when I cry about when you're confronting me, is because I'm wrong or like I accept I'm wrong mm -hmm. or. It's not even about even accepting I'm wrong. They think it's because oh, I'm scared of them. Yeah. But the reality is, I'm actually not. I'm just scared of what I would say. Mm -hmm. Because words go through a long way for me. I'm a person words hurt easily. Yeah. So, if you then use your words to hurt me, I'm already feeling it. Because now I'm putting myself in your shoe. Yeah. If I use my words to hurt you, how mm -hmm. would you feel? Yeah. So... Don't come yeah, but do you always put yourself in that shoe? Imagine so your friend is some done you so dirt and you don't even think about your morals at all. And you just go from you've hurt me, I'm gonna attack now. I'm I'm waiting to get there. Oh, so you haven't been in that situation I don't yet? Think so. Okay. I'm so. waiting to actually That's I never used to be in that situation. But yeah. I've because I've been you in You know it. you always say you never do something, you never Yeah, do that's something. what I'm saying. You can Until never say never. Because when I was when I've clocked I've been in that situation because before if someone has said something to me mm. or hurt me, I'll just stay quiet. I will yeah. actually stay quiet coming out. Like, oh, I can't handle this. But then I realized I've changed that. Yeah. I would. You wouldn't take it now. Yeah, I'm not taking it. But really? at the same time, because I'm not taking it, I have to be careful because yeah. yeah. I can actually switch badly and it's not good. It's and, not and it just makes people feel so worthless. <laughs> so obviously. So I'm, I'm waiting learned. to actually be there. Yeah. I think I can't wait to be there only because I'm, I'm eager to learn. Mm -hmm. Let me learn and know how to do with it, you know. That's yeah. the difference between wanting to learn. Mm -hmm. So, until then, then I guess. I guess yeah. by then I'll have a dilemma. Well, now you will know <laughs> how to act. You know, I was going to the shop about this. You told well, me. So, wow. never really thought about it that way, you know. Yeah, so you I just see confrontation and I'm gone. Yeah, because you're thinking, why the you, fuck are you arguing at that point? What? You never know until you're actually in that situation. You see confrontation, I'm like, yeah, bye. Bye, guys. Yeah, I have a friend, I've got friends like that. Like, like oh, you guys are arguing in the GC? You, I am not I, involved. I'm actually out. I'm actually out. But, me, but the other person I, I will stand, the only person I will stand and be arguing with back and forth is my boyfriend. <laughs> Even though I've learned not to. Yeah, because at the end of the day, what does he want to do? Will you beat him? No. So let's argue. True, but you know but, that you don't want to. You don't want to ruin the, the relationship. Yeah, but that's what that's exactly what it is. You know why it's easy for me to even argue with him? Because right. at the end of the day, we're all looking for what will be better for our relationship. Yeah. So with my friend, I have to see you again. With my man, I can ghost him for like a while and be like, "Yeah, I'm upset, but I will come back." And you know what it is? That's not good. I know. That's what I used to do. I literally, I, I would my just. My man actually said, "Like, what the fuck? Like, what nah, is this?" I actually just go and I'm like, "Yeah, bye." Like, because you think, you think, take, you, you think that's so many, but it's not. It's not. And I think I get away with it only because it's a quiet. Like, what I mean, when it comes to fights, he hates fights as well. So we both hate fights. Yeah. So we're never gonna be in that situation because he hates fight. Mm -hmm. But whenever things are not going, some it's going somewhere, somewhere. Like, excuse me, sir. Wait one second. <laughs> um, no, I don't like this, and this is not gonna happen again. Yeah. But if he's not, I'm always the one that's arguing, which is where there's a problem. Same. But it's the fact that well, it's I'm always quiet. Good. But even when I'm quiet, my mom will be like, "Nah, say what's on your mind." I'm yeah. just like, "Bruv, I don't want to say what's on my mind because, because you I don't know hear it's it. start." That's yeah. It. 
but I'm glad that this so is like, you, you pray for to, a prayer. Do you want me to shut well. up or do you want me to? You like, pray for an understanding person. Yeah. Like, you can't just have any person as your partner. No, hundred percent. Unfortunately, my phone stopped recording, so we weren't able to hear the last of the dilemma. However, just enjoy the rest of the video. The rest is going to be sped up, and I hope you guys like the final look. Also, make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel, put your bell notifications, and so know when our next video is coming. Also, share with your friends, like of the video, and also comment. Like, let me know your opinions on the dilemmas. I want to know what you guys think. Guys, we're almost done. Mm. So cute. <laughs> I love it. Yes. That was the goal. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, look at the coyotes. Give me vibes. <laughs> Fine girl. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now before we go to start your drama, let's admire my hair first. <laughs> Like for you talk to me, just admire the talk hair. Talk to me nice, or don't talk to me at all. And talk to me directly. Let's <laughs> go through cars. Understand? Mm. Admire the the beauty and the hair. Oh. Just clean your hair. Clean it for me. Look at the camera. <laughs> This is the Love final it. look, guys. Period. Can you look edges? Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine girl. <laughs> fine hair. Fine girl with fine hair. For real. <laughs> and stay Love tuned it. for the next episode.